Hurts Dance indeed. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dennis Jones with GameRefusion.com bringing you another episode of Namco Cross Capcom. Felicia and King are doing more damage to Saya. Last episode, we gathered all two. All two item boxes and defeated all of her scythe weasels, so all that's left is to do damages to Saya. Or Saya. And watch a uber long cutscene. I'm going to have to. Now there's actually 37 minutes left to the whole entire chapter, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to cut that in half into two different episodes. Hopefully, I don't have to cut into a story plot like I did have to do in the last chapter, but hopefully there's a good segue scene, scene to do that in. But, oh, she's using her max on us, oh no. Ouch. Okay, we... Oh. Wow, Shonen Momo are barely holding on to their lives by the skin of their teeth. Now Clonoa and Gantz are gonna have to do a thing to beat her up. She only has 4,000 HP left. How adorable! Now you're criticizing me on my back. Okay. Uh, we were? Beats me. Anyways, I'm staring, starting to understand why Ray J gets mad. Yeah, I think I'm getting it too. It seems that your partner does not care about friends. Right. Oh, level 10 versus level 15. Well, we'll see how much damage we do and how much of a level gain we're gonna get. That was pretty pathetic. Yeah, no bonuses or anything. <laughs> Gantz looks mad, Kelowna looks dazed and confused. Ow! You've got a nice arm, boy. Oh, you've got a nice army, boy. <laughs> Fortune's on my side this time. This ends right now. It's your decision. Move and you're toast. Yep, if you value your life, you won't try anything funny. That's right. We've still got... We've still got to save Amazona. This time, we... We will... Ah. This time, we will really be farewell. Think of it as a tax day. Okay. I don't think so. I will have more luck next time. <laughs> well, see you later. More luck? What do you mean? What did you mean? Wait. Uh, what? What was that abyss of time you just spoke of? I don't think she mean. You don't think she means. I'll not say any more about it. I'm not in the need to explain that to you. A piece of time? Hey, what do you know about that? Explain yourself. <laughs> Are you deaf? You will not get a thing repeating questions. Take care. 
running away, Saya! Uh, clearly. Great, she's gone. I guess our cutscene's happening now. Finally, some peace and quiet. I was entertained. Thanks for the help. This is looking good. Welcome to the team, Demi Chicken. <laughs> Don't get me wrong again. I merely came here to meet Emna. I was never dealing with the lot with you lot. Jeez, what a sourpuss. Better watch out, Kanzuki. Could you kindly not lump me with him? Uh, give him a break. He's not being malicious. <laughs> Where is this Emperor Emna? I don't sense anyone around. Well, this place is uh, in a big mess just now. I wonder what he's doing. And that girly worries me. <laughs> That's what we came here to ascertain. Curse that Emna and his mockery. Too bad. We did walk a lot, and we got nothing in at the end. This sucks. Yeah, and we've got a rotten luck. But now we can't go back to our world. And there's lots of problems to solve. That's right. Um, Xion, about those blue monsters we fought? Data inter integration complete. What's up? They're Octis. Huh? Octis? Wait, as in the aliens who took over the planet Packet? An interesting name for a planet. Hackett? Interesting. The type we fought are designated as Gilly Octis. There's no mistake. No way, Octis? Maybe they got sent to a different world. To the spirit world? So they must be something from their time. Oh, look, it's... <laughs> Haven't seen her in a long time. An enemy! Not from how she's acting. Yeah, I thought that was one big desk. Humongous! Inexplicable! Well, he's here. That big guy is Emma. You don't know what he looks like. Huh? I think that we lack some info. Indeed, we were in such a rush. No problem. He's way too big. Hey, who's that granny? Endaba, the Styx Ferryman. Hmm, I suppose you have anticipated all of this, right? Money will feed me. Feed me, Seymour! I hope you brought some with you. <laughs> They've got power. What do we do, Ray? 
Reggie, this is no time to worry about small details. I think that I think that they will want more from us than just a couple of bucks. Alright, though the infernal world. We can't go back to our world. We were told if we came here. I just told you, we can't travel from here. <laughs> what a lively young man! Where do you think you are? Reggie, calm down! We are in way over our heads! Yes, I suppose. It's said that ignorance is a sin. Or it's said that ignorance is a sin. I've heard that one. But we can't afford old sayings right now. <laughs> Politeness in this group is rare to see. Dimitri Maximus and Morgan Azla. It's been a long time. <laughs> yes, yeah, since the time my father, father passed away, right? This isn't a social visit. I will kill you in the near future. <laughs> I see you haven't changed at all, Dimitri Mox Amef. <laughs> no, you, Andava. Please remember my name, old hag. It's Maximoff. Things are... things are calming down, I think. This is where the Emperor who rules this world lives, right? Think of it as a breezing into the White House and talking to the present. That makes this sound cooler. And that old hag is his secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I am the ferryman of the river Styx, and Dabba. I came here to see you all. The ferryman? Don't tell me. No, if that were true. I see. Please. Is... is the reason some Genji from the past appeared before us? Correct? They did return, the Genji clan. How could the dead come back to life? Or rather... You must be lying! Hey, mister, stay cool! It's not that all that uncommon. Drugs can make the dead move. Mystic skills can do this do that too. It shouldn't surprise you. Oh well, that's a relief. Oh it's it's not the point. The point is why our world's past is connected to this alternate realm called the spirit world. Who cares? What I want to know is how to get back to our own world. The quakes are getting bigger, and I'm worried about Shinra HQ. Arisu, I understand your feelings, but right now we can't do a thing. Shinra. And Aris. Hmm. And these quakes he spoke of. Is he of the Ariso clan? Hey, just look around. 
think all about these guys' sorcery level. And with you, a fox apparition. Apparition. <laughs> this man, I think there's no mistake. Huh? A fox? Who? It's me! Uh huh? Poor thing, she's crazy. Hey, hold it! What did you mean? Look at these fox ears on my head. You guys are really slow. Weren't you cosplaying? Yes, I figured that too. <laughs> I knew cosplay had street cred, but this is ridiculous. Felicia, you're just like me. What's your excuse? Certainly, I've read tales of animals becoming magical. They call it Divine Foxes, I think. To think it actu it's actually true! Hideo, you're certainly quick to accept all this. Very scientific. But I'm not quite there yet. I've got to spend another thousand years. I'm a little less of 765 years. Well, that's really young, yeah. I'm just a mystic fox. That's unscientific. Old prune. Wait a sec, Sabe. There's... was another fox, yes? Saya. What? What? Was it that woman? She's a Japanese werefox. Don't let me in with that foxy lady from a puny nation. Yeah, I thought this game was Japanese. Why is she saying Japan is puny? It, uh, you know, it is a small country, but anyway. According to my database, such creatures are called ghost fox. Yes, it's like a fox apparition. Hey, wait. What database did she find that in? She's made in Japan, and Xiaomu is from this place. You fool. We're not tools. This man. Is he truly possessed? Look, I think we've got off track. What do we do now? Yes, if we can't return to our world... Oh, alright! Emna, I want to go to the Infernal Village. Momo, but... Wait a moment! Dimitri and Morgan... Weren't they together with the Valkyrie at the hell? <laughs> oh, that's... so that was... <laughs> Shall I explain? Well... Meanwhile, the spirit will. Well, this is a good place to stop the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming. 
We will see you in the next episode where we'll continue more of this big cutscene. Bye bye for now. We probably should have healed Cosmos instead. Correct! Great dangers confront the dimensional walls.